I feel like the podcast was definitely for me at in the time that I was in. Right now, it made me more chill. I start. I got around DJ Screen. Shouts out DJ Screen. I started looking at life different. Like mm. he started telling me, like, bro, you got to get on your weight journey, your weight loss journey. Mm. Congratulations my, with everything yeah. too. He bought my first blender. You know what I'm saying? And he'd be always telling me, like, bro, you you can't react on everything. You can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't take it like that. You can't. So. I got more than just a podcast. I got a, a brother that really helped me try to retrain my mind, though. Mm. You know what What's I'm the saying? hardest part about retraining your mind, you think, coming through the journey? Uh, the hardest part about re... Like, what was the hardest part to retrain in your mind? Letting the people go that make you to make you be the uh, person you don't want to be no more. Mm. Like, you know what, what one example. Like, say, Vince and me, you was friends growing up, but you're a negative person. I got to let you go. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's pop? You know what time it is? Your boy J Hill, Mr. J Hill Podcast. We in the building. Uh, super special guest, man. This guy right here, one of the legends in Atlanta. I mean, sheesh. From the rap artistry to podcasts to like just throwing shows. Like you really outside. Like, first of all, I appreciate you pulling up. No, I appreciate uh, you for having me, bro. Big Bank is in the building. Um, this is like surreal. This is one of the moments where like I feel like I've been trying to get you on the podcast for a minute. Who you been calling? That's the thing. Like you <laughs> wouldn't know, right? Yeah. And then I just tapped in with Jade not too long ago, right? So like it's just it's just crazy how life works. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's time too though. Yeah, facts. That's what I'm talking about now. What you got to talk about, bro? I'm just saying life elevation, epitome of elevation. Mm. It's, did you ever think that you would be? So it's funny because I just had a similar conversation. Do you think that you would have been so successful in the way you're being successful now? Never. Ain't it crazy how Never. life works? Yeah, nah, it's crazy how life works. God, like I say, everything's God's plan, man. I don't even, I don't even, I just say my prayers and ask them to guide me. Fact. I don't even try to, uh, you know, we still prep, uh, do proper preparation, but right. I don't even try to plan it out no more. Like I be telling the court, I be like, man, stop worrying because whatever meant for us is for us. It's gonna happen. Facts. But even like the fact that like, I mean, music is is still one thing because like you you getting paid to rap, but like the fact that you can get paid to have conversation with people yeah. who can enlighten you, give you game, like it's so many people who who do like classes and stuff like that. And the finesse is you just do the interview with them. Now you got the whole you oh got yeah the whole for game. sure yeah 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 you, <laughs> you ask them all the questions that you want to know, <laughs> bro. This is crazy, bro. So I want to um I know you used to talk about this a few times, but. For the people that's new to it, for my audience, let's talk about when did when did you when did you know you wanted to stop the rap? And how oh, you no, I never I never was a rapper though. Just being real, like I had a record label called Duct Tape Entertainment, mm -hmm. and I had two artists on on the, on the, um, on the label, and mishap happened. Both of them got locked up the same night, mm. so I went in the studio and recorded a song, and it was a hit. And just like that, just like that, I was never a rapper. Never tried to be a rapper. That's why I didn't keep going. Jay contested this, like, cause Jay was my manager at the time. Like, we just put we just put some together and let's go with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then I let it burn out. Got tired. They still was sending ten thousand for shows. I just started turning out. I just didn't want to be a rapper. I didn't like, I didn't like being in front of the. Um, I had like social anxiety. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't. Every time I get ready to come to do a show or something, I, I had to throw up and. So I just was like, man, this ain't for me. And then you started doing what? It, next was doing the events. Uh, is, that, is that when the shit show came? Nah, nah, that's, that rapping stuff, that was like 2008 through 2010. And then after that, uh, they got out, started pushing the artists again. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Went back in CEO mode. Then after that, you know what I'm saying? Then we started doing parties, doing parties here and there. 
Then caught a, caught a couple movies, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Zaytoven, put me in my first movie. Then I did the Superfly joint. Then I, um, I That was crazy. Yeah. That's a legendary. Then I started the Shush Show. And when I went to interview, I went and did an interview to try to sell some tickets for the Shush Show. With Thug? Oh, with Future? Oh, no, you talking about, no, uh, you talking about, um, oh, yeah, that's crazy. No, I did, um, that is, you is right. You, you, let me bag it up. Future called me. Bro. Future called me and said, Brother had a conversation we be having. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna drop my album. They just record it and put it out, and they're gonna play it right before the album. So we did, we had like a hour, two hour conversation, just like how we having now. Right. This before podcast. So we just having a conversation, and he played it on Apple Music to lead up into his album. Mm. So everybody was like, bro, you good at that shit, but I ain't pay that shit no mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do interviews. I ain't no interviewer. Like, right. what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Nah, right. But then I started the shit show, which is a talent show in Atlanta. That um, if they they don't know, just Google it. Shush, the shit show ATL. But started the shit show, so I went to DJ Scream um, to promote. He was on the radio at the time at 107.9, I think. I went up to the ra- oh he was at uh, same place at now. But I went up to the radio station to do an interview to promote the shit show, and he was like, "Bro, what? Why you don't do the podcast, bro? Like, like the shit you did with Future? That shit was dope, bro. Like you should do a podcast." I like, if you do it with me, I'll do it. Just like that. If you do it with me, I'll do it. Screen when it did got the same setup, all the cameras, the lights. Woo, woo, he told me what it take. Okay, bank, give me half on that, bam. We went in the studio. Just so we went in the studio. And the crazy part about it, we went in the studio, first time we ever recorded, it was just like Screen was interviewing me. You know what I'm mm. saying? We just having like a regular conversation. Yeah, right. And uh Money Bad Yo and Black Youngster was in the studio. They came in on our first episode. We was like, yeah, we got some. Sheesh. You know wait, so wait, wait, let's rewind. Let's rewind because we can't fast over this. So, because I remember the conversation you did with Future, that followed like some big event, like in the blizzard or something. Yeah, no right? cap, no cap. Party. So that was yeah. a sh- that was a show. Yeah, that not, was a party. Like that a, was just a party. Yeah, but it was like a blizzard. And yeah, yeah. Like how did how, how wait how do you pull this up? Jay. That me and Jay. Shout out to Jay. Um, we was just I just wanted to uh, make my own strip club basically. So right. we, t- we took like thirty women. And uh, just not even strippers, just 30 women, made them, uh, you know, take their clothes off or whatever. But they had on, like, you know, what do you call it? Like, dance outfits. Whatever. Yeah, dance outfits. Okay. Got all my friends, all the rappers, all the street with money. Everybody came in and just let that shit fly. Let that shit fly, like, two, three hundred thousand on the floor. That shit made a big splash. Everybody was in there. I had Thug in there, um, the whole QC. Uh, Twenty one seven. Oh, you can't even name, bro. That's why. Hold wait, bro. This is what I don't like about Atlanta, bro. Because when y'all telling a story, you know that ain't regular. What you mean? Like I had thug in there, like QC. Like for you, you say it so like effortlessly. Like yeah, we had everybody in there. I'm trying to understand how you even get how you even get to the point where a future hitting you like yo, let's pull up, let's do the interview. That's these huge. My, these my friends. These my friends. Like before they was rich, before I had any paper. These my friends. So let me ask you this then. I'm just being curious, like a student of the game. When we look at Atlanta, right? Like I'm from Baltimore, right? Okay. So when, every time we say Atlanta, we're like man, we gotta be like in Atlanta, like them stick together. Like they, they that's why they winning because they stick together and they put each other on. One, my first question is, do you is that true from your experience? Get the money together. You know mm. what I'm saying? If it, if it makes sense for the money, to put their pride to the side and get the money together. I say that. So just from your experience, these being your friends, why is Atlanta? Music market so well off now, and this has been it's an undeniable swag, you know what I'm saying? It's an undeniable swag when they, you know, how you get certain about the ball, they ain't gonna pass it, yeah. But can we say that though? Because, like, it, it, it ain't like we ain't see the work, for example. It was a time where New York really ran hip hop industry, that's because that's because the people didn't know no better, they had to see the south. So when was that? When, when was that point where you you saw it really open up and like people saw the south for what it was? I say, um, you know, Dre when they went and did that thing, uh, the south got something yeah. to say, you know, and that made them look. Then we started looking down here. Okay, cool. You know, Dre was on some players. You know what I'm saying? Outcast. They was outcast, but then we we hit them with a um, we hit them with a ti. So that showed them that we got from Atlanta. That's just like them. From New York, like in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Cause three, um, three thousand and um, and, um, Andre three thousand and um, Big Boy, 
you know, they was they was they was um from the south side and they was ripping like, you know what I'm saying, wearing the clothes and shit. They was fashion more fashionable, more artists. Mm. They was like more artsy. But then, you know, Tilt when he brought the trap and all that shit, then you get follow behind that, jeez. Um then the crunk. I can't forget about the crunk. Yeah. All this we just bro, we just had a way snap music. It's just like we can't miss them. Every time we hit them, we, we Did you see like like for me, because I'm not here, I always we always knew about like the mecca of hip hop, um, being in New York and things like that. And we always heard about the stories how people overlook the South. But just being honest, I'm like 32. I never, I don't think I was able to witness it. And I'm wondering, like you being in the game and you being friends with these people, did you witness that turnover? Oh, for sure. Like when when came out, like you know they they ain't want that to go. That, you know they was calling it what they was calling it, uh, mumble rap. Hmm. Changed the price of rap though. That Future and the Migos and all them niggas, they changed the price of rap. You went from riding, um, start riding private jets off that mumble rap. So wait, so you you call the Migos the beginning, early the beginning? Nah, nah, nah. I'm saying like I'm, I remember that that time. Nah, yeah, but I'm saying, but you know, not nah, the beginning was Ti, and Ti was I a real like rapper. I, even, I feel like I even remember Ti a little bit because when he came up with what Grand Hustle, that was the first one. That when they started respecting it to me. Okay, and I could be wrong, but to me, when Dre and them did, when Dre and them already they the first first group to ever go diamond yeah. and all that. But I'm saying like, far as okay, we here to stay. It was when Lil John, that Lil John era, that um, Bone Crusher, Killer Mike, uh, Ti, you know what I'm saying all them like what it was like 2001, 2000. Even then, what was like the reception? What do you think? Like how how was the outside looking at it? They was looking at it like um. Yeah, they got a little way going. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they got a little way going. I can tell, like, they got a little way going. Yeah, that's cool. But then when they start saying they got to come down here to get hits, they got to come down here and get on these beats, they got to come down here, you know what I'm saying, get these features, it shit got different. Damn. Yeah, I, I always was, like, just curious to know, like, how, because even when I'm talking to Jay, every time I'm talking to somebody from Atlanta, even if they're not the biggest artist, they cool with all of the guys. They're like, oh, you talk to T.I., oh, that's, that's the homie. I'm like, yeah. That's that's a legend. Yeah, you talk to this person. That's a legend, and you can sit here and just be like, man, nah, they just my homies. I grew up with these guys. Yeah, and I'm always just wondering, like, I I don't even I don't, I, I can't even fathom it. So when you had these comments, like, yeah, I just had a conversation with, and when I had the party, and like all these guys was there. Oh yeah, nah, I'm, and them they had to pay for their session. Them paid ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars for their session. So we you friend, was really the big guy at the time. Nah, them we friends, but this a business now. We got a bottom section. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, bro. So <coughs> they now, wanted that money. So now we walk into the podcast life. Like, how how is that for you? It's more chill, more relaxed. I um, I feel like the podcast was definitely for me at in the time that I was in. Right now, it made me more chill. I start. I got around DJ Screen. Shots out DJ Screen. I started looking at life different. Like mm. he started telling me, like, bro, you got to get on your weight journey, your weight loss journey. Mm. Congratulations for everything yeah. too. He bought my first blender, you know what I'm saying? And he'd be always telling me like, bro, you, you can't react on everything. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't take it like that. You can't So I got more than just a podcast. I got a, a brother that really helped me try to retrain my mind though. Mm. You know what What's I'm the saying? hardest part about retraining your mind, you think, coming through the journey? Uh the harder part about re Like what was the hardest part to retrain in your mind? Letting the people go that make you to make you be the uh, person you don't want to be no more. Mm. Like you know what, what one example? Like say, Vincent, me and you was friends growing up, but you're a negative person. I gotta let you go. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna hurt. That's the hardest part. <sighs> That's the hardest like part. Out, just allowing yourself to outgrow the things that pull you down yes. and pull you back. Yes, it's crazy because especially like I'm from the projects and like there's a lot of friends. Like coming up, we always think that man. The first thing we say is, and I'm bring, I'm gonna get a crib, I have all my n- with me, and, and we gonna like do it that. together. And then, like and you learn that it's almost impossible to do that, and that hurt. But the thing about it is, God blessed me because I did that too. I mm. did that before. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say, it took me 43 years to stop being an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, cause I did that part of it. That shit don't do nothing. In the end, it just kick you, you kick yourself in the ass with that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know it. The way you domesticate it, you don't you don't see or feel that. You just think this how I go. You know what I'm saying? Take the good with the bad. Like, you don't look at certain we don't look at certain that we went through as 
like you saying, like you saying, saying like, bro, that ain't normal. Mm. I had to realize the shit that we overlook ain't normal neither. Facts. You know what I'm saying? The shit that we've been through ain't normal neither. People Facts. have to get help for this. Mm mm mm. Nah, real, bro. That's real. Like we, it's like we come up, we think saying dead bodies even the movies like want to see a dead like thing we play with like we yeah, play with that exactly. like like that's cool and then we see it and we we kind of like idolize these things if like this is how it's supposed to look yeah and now we get older it's like bro i don't want my kid to see that facts i don't want my kid to have to go through that facts bro, i didn't see like i didn't see my mom's od on drugs like a needle on her arm like that shit ain't normal facts and the fact that like we we walk around like even the fact about this whole this whole ideology of like coming from the bottom and if we almost like us coming from the trenches it's, it's almost like we look down on people who, who ain't coming yeah, from that's, the bottom that's, yeah that's, that's so 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 backwards it's like i want my i tell my daughter your ass better not ever think you came from the bottom Bruh, i had to go through that with my kids like they thinking because i came from the bottom even though they had to go out there and bump their head go to jail do all this just to see like you know how it be like oh you big bang son and that's it you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know that's a hard shoe to be in, like, looking at it like, oh, uh, you just Big Bang, son. So n****s kind of resent you. Like, mm. your kids are kind of resent you because it's like, I mean, your shadow. Mm -hmm. So it's like times he had to go try to make his own name. You know what I'm saying? Make mm. your own name and make it seem like you're going through something just so you can fit in. That's crazy. Nah, that's a fact. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. I think even like coming into the industry, I feel like talking about like learning lessons and things we learn from I think the hardest thing for me to learn was everybody is genuine what that mean so like I used to come in it and I um I would think like my niggas ain't genuine bro like niggas ain't really like me bro like they don't make them like me no more I'm genuine and I remember somebody told me he was like nah bro you gotta stop thinking that because everybody genuine yeah and if somebody fucked up they could just genuinely be a fucked up person yeah and you gotta live with that Nah, that's real shit though. Like, cause like we but always got to respect it though. Yeah, you got to respect it because everybody made different. How the world gonna go around if everybody was the same? Nah, facts. Nah, facts. Real it, shit. It's just crazy because like you like we talk about the industry and one thing I'm I fought myself not fought myself but I I said one of the guys like I'm always like man this industry weird there's a bunch of weirdos in the industry. It is though. And as much as it is, it's been like but they really only that way because it worked for them. Yeah. Them facts. Like they only fact, that way because it works for them. Fact. And, and what's fucked up to me, like what's frustrating to me, is like, man, it's like that's the. Go ahead. What you, somebody need to get Jay, man. Yeah, she somebody get Jay. Texting me, man. Yeah, you good, bro. This ain't. <coughs> this ain't big fast. You can just <coughs> yeah. talk your shit. Yeah, somebody go get Jay. Man. It's professional, but we are professional. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, sophisticatedly ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's like, man, it's just crazy because like we walk around thinking like, man, we superior because I don't know what because we stand for something or something like that. When it's like, bro, you you need somebody that, oh, she, you need somebody that don't stand for something. I guess as crazy as it might sound, you out? Yeah. All right, bro, y'all be cool, man. Right. You say what, bro? You need somebody what? Like you need that other side of it. Yeah. Almost. Exactly. Right? exactly. As much as I think I'm a good person, like, and but you need that other part. And 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 and, and, and looking at it, it might sound crazy, but like it's like. I'm gonna tap in with you, brother, for real. Oh no, that's love. I like what y'all think. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get My brother. Right. Yeah, but it's like, man, that's that's something that I had to learn. That was a hard lesson. Yeah. Like, just everybody's genuine. Nah, them facts. They genuine who they is. That's why I say, bro, I don't, I'm looking I'm looking at a person for exactly who they is instead of who I want them to be. That's how I used to do. Especially the people you love. You look at them for who you want them to be. Mm. You can't do that. They're mm. going to hurt you every time. That's the only way you get your feeling hurt because mm. you're expecting you from another person. 
speaking of like it being so many weirdos in the industry, how was it for you after being here so long? Right, like how how what are some of the things that that frustrate you about the industry now? I'm at peace with it now. It, it, what used to frustrate me was, um, like, you know, you come from the streets and you know you from the streets and you know you done did all the shit that niggas talk about. You really feel like you supposed to be get one up on niggas. Yeah. You don't think about the talent part of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what niggas' mind be fucked up at. Niggas thinking, oh, I'm really this. But this folk really talented. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The talent is going to get the money. Just because you, you know what I'm saying, like they say if it took muscle, we would have never went to the moon. Mm. That shit take the talent in the brain. So that, that, that used to frustrate me a lot, just thinking like, man, how do you niggas hating really? Mm. How do you niggas doing this and doing that and we ain't? Because them niggas grinding. Mm. And these niggas on their shit. That's what it was. Damn. How, so now I'm just picking your brains just to learn. My, just for myself and being selfish. But like, that is true, but I feel like a part of that is the circles that you... <coughs> That, that you that you in now you good, yeah, and the people cold. that you that you meet along the way, right? Because like you could be talented, or you can be less talented than the next person. But if you in the right room, oh, you won't get opportunities that they not gonna get. But get what talent ain't just what you saying out your mouth or your rap. Your talent could be people skills too. Put you in front of somebody and you know what to say. That's mm. a talent too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, I get in front of the right motherfucker, say the right shit. I'm on. That's talent. But you sitting back in your feeling, man, I'm a real nigga. What that mean? Sheesh. That's crazy. That ain't talent? People skills are talent, right? Yeah, I mean, and it's, and it's a way of almost, like, as crazy as it might sound, sort of a talent to manipulate a situation for you, too. Yes. But what if you don't want to be that person? Does that, like, do you deserve not to be on? Because if I, if I, if I want to, let's say, Big Bang, where I meet you, and I just want to be, I, damn, they go that genuine way, right? I just want to. Really be a good person and just be cool with you. I don't want to take what comes with you or not. Like all of the, the other shit, right? I just want to be a real nigga for real. I feel like that person, I'm not going to lie. Maybe that's the entitlement, but I feel like that person should win. Because there's so many people who are trying like to get too, close to what you. Else, what else you doing besides, besides goddamn want to win? What else is you doing? What 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 else What else going to make me feel like, yeah, yeah, this the nigga, this the one. What? Mm. I mean, just cause you real. I mean, I feel like nigga a, trying to make some money. Nah, you right, you you right. But when I and I, I'm glad we can have this conversation, especially doing podcasts, because in this game, yeah, you be trying to make some money. But sometimes that a money, what what's the cost of making that money? Because a, a lot of times niggas is they don't have no integrity, right? They they have no they have lack of boundaries. They doing anything to get to the money. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Hell, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Nah, so we, for example, we do an interview, right? Let's say we we talk about uh, just say yeah, go say. She's trying to put the glass back on because I look sick. I've been having a cold for two days. Yeah, take your time, man. It's good. I couldn't I couldn't tell Jay to reschedule. She keeps saying, "You feel better? You feel better?" Yes, I'm not gonna reschedule. Well, I appreciate you, I'm man. Not. That's some real nigga shit. Yeah, I can't you should be saluted for that though. Yeah, I ain't trying. That's to That's how I look at it. But I'm coming I, to motherfucker sick, like it. <laughs> <laughs> and shit, if it ain't if it don't look the best, we will scrap it and do it again. <laughs> It is exactly, it is. but like, but like shit like that. Like I feel like in this interview space, right? You interview somebody, and let's say, I don't know, it's some shit that they don't want in the interview. You cut it out, but that's the same thing that could put you on. But yeah. because you have integrity, you ain't gonna do that. But you're not gonna get the same look as somebody who gonna be messy and put it out. I get what you said, but she. What up, gang? End of the day, how that work? How that work? Like niggas done called us plenty of time and be like, "Hey, bro, take this part out," <coughs> and we take it out. And but imagine if I didn't. Mm. You know how fast that's gonna go around it, man. Them niggas trying it, them niggas trying it, them niggas trying it. You might catch you a little way, but then once that once the whisper get around about, man, them niggas trying to them niggas trying to really fuck over niggas on that podcast. Mm. Everybody got all the same friends. Like if I leave here with a different uh, opinion of you. If I spread my opinion, I can stop some niggas from coming up here. Facts. Cause certain niggas respect me and fuck with me the way they fuck with me, so it's gonna be like, oh yeah, bank said that nigga fuck nigga. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And niggas is actually doing that to niggas. Yeah, niggas is gatekeeping for sure. Yeah, know what I'm saying? Niggas is actually doing that shit. The niggas like, man, the nigga fuck nigga, man. How you know? <laughs> how, how you know? I thought 
gatekeeping. Niggas be gatekeeping, bro. No, like gatekeeping. Oh, gatekeeping. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Nah, niggas be gay out here. Oh, For man, real. <laughs> Hank it, panky. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, speaking of, nah, for real, speaking of that, though, do you feel like some type of obligation to, like, get a game to niggas differently? Because, like, I feel like niggas like you ain't really have the blueprint or niggas really giving you the game in a way of teaching you how to make it. I don't, the only game I give niggas, man, it ain't never too late, man, to keep your faith, man. That's it. That's it, man. Don't make no excuses. Niggas make too many excuses these days. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't do this because of this ass nigga. You a bitch. <laughs> you being real. Like, ain't no excuses, bro. <laughs> Facts. No. Ain't no excuses. Where I come from, bro, ain't no excuses, bro. You either got now. Do what you need to do or die. Mm. Or starvation. What you going to do? Ain't nobody finna give you no money, no food, no nothing. Boy, die. Mm. Nah, facts. Hey, I'm... Hey, I, 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 I you can't make shit. no excuses. I just walked in here, a dude getting out the chair, I sat down. Nigga, don't make no excuses. That's work. Mm. I just left from doing a podcast. Well, we we recorded two podcasts a day, me, Jay, the screen. Then I went and did Big Big Bang Radio. Then now I'm here. I can't make no excuses because I got, I'm sick. Nah, facts. And then, like, if you, it, what the excuses going to do? Thank you. The excuses ain't going to do nothing. Make you blame another nigga. Facts. And then you st- you want to lose out on a bag, man. Like, man, you might as well just stand up, do what the fuck you got to do, and just get it over with. Kill it. Nah, facts. Nah, yeah, that's that's the main shit, man. Stop making them excuses, man. People, if you want to feel sorry for themselves and want you to feel sorry for them, it's like, I'm going to tell you the only thing. When I used, I used to get street money, right? I used to get money out the street, so I was just the free heart of this nigga that was like, yeah, because it was in my pocket. Yeah, hell yeah, 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 I got on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you got to start sending that shit out your account, and you don't actually work for this shit? Man. Nah, facts. I can't send it to you, bro. I ain't got no excuse. I ain't got no nothing but a no. I, I think the biggest, um, we talk about, like, in, in today's society, we talk about self-love and shit like that. I think... The 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 biggest way to show that you love yourself is being able to say no, because I feel shit. like no, coming up like you don't understand how powerful that is. Like no is a powerful word, but it's so hard to say because you want we catch ourselves trying to please everybody. But I can accept no, so that's why I, like so many times I don't accept the no. Well, I ain't gonna say so many times. A few times I don't accept the no made me not want to ask and make me be able to say no. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? When well, you already know it's no. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't even ask no nigga. I know it's no. I ain't, no, ain't even no used to trying to do that. It's no. Mm. Ain't nobody got nothing for no nigga. So, wh- hold that thought then. What about, do you feel like you can lose? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get this shit out my nose, bro. <laughs> do, you think, do you think you can lose opportunity by assuming that it's going to be no? And, and not wanting to ask? To help, because I feel like a lot, that's another thing in our community. We are like we we got so much pride and ego. We can't ask ask a nigga to help when we need help. I'm just the type of nigga like this. Now you're right about that. Them them facts. I'm gonna give you that. But uh, me personally, uh, yeah, I'm, I got too much pride. I feel like only way to make you the A side of things is when niggas come to you about what you got going on. Anything mm-hmm. I do, niggas come to me and be like, "Bro, I want to be a part of that." Mm-hmm. Instead of me calling them, when they come to me and want to be a part of it, that means they gonna put forth effort because they want to be a part of this, not me calling them. Right. It's gonna be a favor then. Niggas gonna kind of drag their feet and, yeah. damn man, I gotta do this for bank. Damn, I, you know what I'm saying? But you be like, man, that shit dope. What you doing, bro? I want to be a part of. it. Let me know how I can help. Oh yeah, I'm finna let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I got something for you right now. <laughs> I've been waiting on you to say that, but yeah, I guess I'm too proud for that. I can't, I can't ask no nigga for shit. Ask no nigga for no help, no nothing. Because at the end of the day, if he can do it, I can do it. Hmm. And you see me. I'm mean, everywhere. Well, you can't turn your TV on. You can't turn your radio on. You can't turn your Instagram on. You can't see. Nigga, I'm doing it. You see it? No, nah, facts. If you want to be a part of it, I'm here. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I can't. Hell nah. That, that goddamn. You know, I said this on another uh, podcast. I don't know. I've been doing podcasts lately, but. You went on a run. I yeah. You know I, yeah. Uh, what I say, I say, um, it's one thing for a nigga to be a dick rider, but it's another thing for a nigga who rode his dick road. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You got some niggas that see you and automatically feel like you're supposed to be on their dick because everybody else is. Mm. If that ain't gatekeeping, I don't know what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas feel like you're supposed to automatically yank it. Like, who? Like, get your pussy ass out right. <laughs> I don't even see you. You nah, know what I'm saying? Thanks. I don't give a fuck who you. Like I said, nigga, you could have got an a EGOT, an Emmy, 
Grammy, Oscar, Tony. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about none of that, Pete. No, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. Like niggas feel like you' supposed to yank it, man. Ain't nobody doing that, and that's and 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 that's what niggas niggas is actually doing it. Mm. Niggas is actually doing it. Niggas is actually dropping their moral, dropping their pride, and doing shit. That's how shit is so fucked up. Ain't nobody telling no nigga like hell nah. I you say you gotta ask a nigga, bro. Is we hate mm. on him because I don't see nothing he did to us. Yeah. Why we mad at him? Niggas don't even ask that. Niggas just be like, bro, say that nigga fuck nigga. Mm. We don't even know why we mad at buddy. Mm. <coughs> bro, and that internet shit, bro, it's like, it's crazy because like on top of that, just with the internet shit, it's like <coughs> niggas would do, literally do anything for clout. I said this on Twitter the other day. Niggas do anything for clout and that shit is working. Yes. And I ain't going to lie, you call me a hater, whatever fuck you want to call me. That shit make it. That shit be discouraging for a nigga to come up, cause I'm not trying to, I'm not doing anything. No, but you could just what you call it? Strategically. You could strategically do it though. You don't have to do anything. Ain't you could no just... strategically way to kiss another man. Oh nah, nah. <laughs> Niggas is doing nah. anything for ain't no strategic. That shit ain't working. Where that shit working at? All right, cool. My bad. Cause you 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 like I for, I forgot. You like already up here. Uh uh-uh. uh. So look, you gotta think about it like this. I'm gonna paint a picture for you. You saying no to ride it. Yeah. So like think about it. Let's just say academics for 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 sake of conversation. Academics gonna post it because that's just what's popular right now. Everybody gonna have something to say. You got niggas out here dying to get on these type of platforms. But they only gonna post the goofy shit. But how long do niggas actually last when they do shit like that? You have a moment. Remember that remember they had that goddamn we had a year of all the uh, I mean, all the slow people we had. You remember they had like, <laughs> I don't think edit that shit, that beat either. that, bro. Yeah, I got you, I got you. We had a year of all the like challenging people, right? Tell them what time that like, is, Kyrie. Gang, the wealthy yeah. nigga that yeah. ain't got no bitches. Yeah, where that shit go to? But nah, I ain't about to let you slide with that because yeah, we might have had a year with that, but they still went up. So even if they want to say I ain't a part of that no more, they could be successful with something else. What? Name one on this successful. Bunk Game is doing his thing right now. That nigga trying to be a preacher. That nigga ain't successful. But he still, if he wanted to sell something, he could sell it. For example, right? Yeah. You was a rapper, right? Yeah. You had successful business. You did parties, did that. So it's easy, like, it's easy for you to be podcasting real successful because you did the work to build up your name. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm being straight up with you. And yeah. I, I had to tell myself that because I used to hate <coughs> like, success, like, like famous people who did podcasts because it just sells so fast. But I had to understand that. Nah, they did the work to become who they were yeah, exactly. to make that transition. Exactly. So they, that, that's they enjoying the fruits of their labor. Yeah, I say all that to say, niggas get on these internet, do all this goofy shit, and they still get followers. They still become somebody, so they can pivot. Yeah, and that's that's why. Like, but from, how many people do that though? How many people pivot? Like, let's be real. It was a whole, it was a whole gang of them people that we don't even see no more, man. <laughs> like, let's be real. I get what you're saying. But I'm just saying, from a young nigga coming up, that should be discouraged. I've been on Instagram yeah. like, what the fuck? I'm not doing this shit. Nah, I feel you, though. Ain't some talent. You. This shit don't last, though. But the thing about it, one, one thing I feel like, bro, the sun and the moon got there, and they both in the sky and they shine. Mm. But they come up at different times, bro. Oof. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, nigga, look at niggas like Steve Harvey, niggas like that, man, Tyler Perry. Niggas, some niggas don't. You got to think, bro. We, we, we come from a spot where we want this shit instantly, bro. Mm. Even in the corporate world, bro, niggas have to go to school. When you go to school, you go to college. When you go to college, you go to the army. When you leave the army, you got them become a police officer. Then you leave the police officer, you become a, a, a public defender. Then as a public defender, you're a DA. Then a judge. Then a, you know what I'm saying? It's ranking that Not niggas fast. don't want to go on a journey. They just want to hit the destination. That's because Instagram, bro. Like, and I, I call it. Like, I don't even call that shit IG. Like Instagram, I call it instant gratification. Exactly. That's exactly what it no, is. That way, it's exactly. IG. So microwave nigga, mentality. Facts, nigga, saying it, and and I tell people, I had to tell somebody today, like, bro, you can't you can't measure your your growth by my success, exactly, because you know you don't know what the fuck I'm going through, right? Like, even I just I just said this, it's like nigga look at somebody else's grass and think it's green, and they think automatically, man, I got I'm, I'm, my shit ain't working, man, it ain't whole time they bought it, but you don't even know if what a nigga going through. In his mind, in his heart, in his you don't know what a nigga going facts. through. Facts, you just looking at a nigga highlights. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Cause you think I'm finna wake up and post how I really feel? 
You think I'm gonna wake up and post that I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like nobody today. Ain't nobody finna do that. I'm gonna stay out the ground. Mm-hmm. Come back positive tomorrow. <laughs> That's how I go. But, but not, but even, <laughs> even, even that. Let's go to the podcast for a second, right? Like, cause I, it's funny. I was talking to Jay, and this is something that I learned just through my research. People will look at like they look at big facts, right? And they might think they know like I don't know like Big Bank and Scream or something like that, right? But what happened is niggas don't understand the work you had to put in to be able to even have these guests be okay with coming on. Yeah. Just like Jay, like people might not have been as familiar, but they don't understand. Like she been doing this before you can before you seen her. She put a lot of work in exactly. b- to be able to be on this platform and be comfortable with people to be to be cool with it. Nah, but they can see through how the guests. You know what I'm saying? How the guests react to her. They can see like, oh, okay, this. You know what I'm saying? Nah, people don't see that. Why you say that? What? Because niggas don't understand it. Like, we understand it because we know, like, we know better. But I'm going to just, like, being real, like, the first time I seen it, I ain't get it. Right? Like, I'm like, well, who the fuck? And then I came to Atlanta, niggas like, oh, nah, you don't know what's going on. Like, she been, (laughs) like, being real. Yeah, yeah, okay, So, like, it's easy to look at somebody and be like, man, and hate, to be honest. Yeah. Especially, and I feel like. How the hell she get on up? Who the hell it did? You that baby Jay, right? Or even if you're not even if you're not even familiar with Atlanta, you might be looking at you might be a fan of let's say you said your first one was Money Bag Yo, right? Yeah, you might be a fan of Money Bag Yo. Like, you, like who the fuck is DJ Scream or Big Bang whole time? I mean, like, they were bro, definitely doing it. Yeah, but it's like you had bro, I put in a lot of stain nigga here. I feel like you ain't gonna be able to please everybody, bro. Mm-hmm. There's some niggas still right now feel like man, nigga, nigga, fuck nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That shit cold with it, bro. That shit cold with this shit, bro. bro. Man, that nigga, bro. I'm telling you, man. The folk don't know this nigga. That nigga fuck nigga. Bro, I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, Do what? Gone, bro. He said, these, fuck you. All right, these, cool. These people that I'm meeting now, you know what I'm saying? Jay Hill, them, these niggas know a different person. <laughs> they don't know the nigga y'all talking about, brother. Yo, let so, me. Go ahead. I want to ask you about that. What? Damn. So I'm not going to say exactly because I ain't going to say it. But it was been um, a saying about like karma skipping you. Right? Like you said, like I'm meeting a new person, but we can't ignore the past you. Yeah, right? For sure. And like how do, do you think that sometimes it can skip you and and be to the closest person to you and they, get, they inherit your karma? Um... Uh... It depends if they if they still doing the same shit you were doing, yeah. But if they if they following what it is, like shit, this what we on? No, mm. I don't think so. I don't think nothing can happen to nobody. Just like they just like this. Um, my crew, we tight. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that many, but we tight. Okay, we say we working out. We working out. Everybody working out. Mm. We on some peace. We on peace and blessing. King, 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 queen, king. We <laughs> got that. We, that we on. <laughs> so ain't nobody trying to scoop up bank karma. Mm. We trying to scoop up this positivity. But they might not be trying to scoop it up though. But you know how the game work in the streets. A nigga probably. Oh no, nah, no, nah, they know they better stay there. They, they better not got them. They know, they know. Nigga, no nigga. It's a lot of motherfuckers want some payback for way back. You better not got them be riding with your head tooted up like a nigga won't do it. They'll do it. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like nah, nah, nah. We. We from that man. Everybody know like it's haters everywhere. It's motherfucker that won't. It's motherfucker that that's mad that you are even thinking. Like nigga, who the fuck you think you is to do a podcast? Mm. Who the fuck you think you to put on a suit and go on stage and host a fucking show, nigga? Mm. Nigga, you a bitch, bang. Yeah, who the fuck is you to be hiking with, bang? Hiking with, bang. Nigga, this niggas a criminal. That's how niggas look at it. Mm. But who, if you allow them folk to keep you in that mindset? Because that's what I used to do. I used to goddamn get so mad that a motherfucker can say something out of they mouth. Mm. When I started thinking about it, that's the lamest shit in the world. That's they mouth. You better not say it in my face. Mm. But you on the internet saying some shit out your mouth. Mm. And I'm finna let this shit ruin my whole day, my whole life, really. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit, the dumbest shit in the world to me. That's and I've been there. Especially, especially when we talk about like this internet shit, like when you creating content, it be a nigga West Bumblefuck somewhere don't have no motion going on, and they make a comment, and now you mad as shit. Like, yeah, I can't believe this motherfucker. But you looking past all these people showing you love. I love you, bank. Ooh, you ain't said none of these folk now time in life. So when they come on out, like <laughs> Club Godzilla just put up a post, but I got on the shoot the toes out. 
The motherfucker feet ugly hell on them. My feet ugly hell on the on the post. But people up on the comments, so I just went on there and said, but them but them feet look like Africa Bank myself. So people can go ahead, but it look like you from Haiti or whatever. So people can go <laughs> no, so people can go ahead and laugh at me. I'm gonna laugh at me with you. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like you can't you can't be phased by that shit, man. And I think it, I think all that shit comes from insecurities. Mm. When I was doing all that shit, I was insecure. You know what I'm saying? When I was doing all that, fuck that nigga say, ooh, that was insecure. Or I ain't gonna lie to you, like, it could be insecurity, but for me, I think it was just because, like, I ain't know no better. Like, yeah. I think one of the one of the biggest misconceptions of like the hood for me was like this this aspect of like being a bitch and what a bitch was or what or being a real nigga was. But that's still I, insecurity though. If you know you ain't no bitch. Yeah, but a, a lot of times, you know. I ain't trying to get on my soapbox. I say this all the no, time. No, I get it. But it's crazy because, yeah, it could be insecurities or it could just be ignorance. Because a lot of times we ain't taught that. When the last time, and again, I ain't trying to be that guy, but it is what it is. When the last time we was taught what a, a real man looked like, right? When the last time we was taught how to love yourself? When the last time we was really right. taught that? Nah, this shit didn't come with no instructions. You feel me? So, like, when I was, when I was, uh, when I, I was coming up. I ain't say that. Oh, shit. She talking <laughs> He sounded like <laughs> so like when I was coming up like all I heard was man you better not let nobody bitch you man you better not let nobody say anything to you so I I automatically thought that oh nah to be a real nigga I gotta punch a nigga in his mouth whenever yeah. he disrespect me yeah whole time that's the total opposite yeah because you punch a nigga in the mouth you gotta go to jail you can't even take care of your family yeah what's being real is taking care of your family that's really gangster yeah what what's being real is keeping your word when you tell a nigga when you tell a nigga something yeah. standing on that that's being gangster real shit and I I. And I just had it fucked up as a young, and I ain't understand. No, 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 you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go back in there and goddamn tighten some shit up and and un unloosen some other shit. You gotta go inside that motherfucker, man, because mm. we be all fucked up the way we. Like I say, man, I always say goddamn. I came up in the household. My grandma was a hater. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. Like you gotta think, bro. Your people, when you can think about your grandma, you hear your grandma on there talking about the neighbors, you hear your uncles and shit talk. No, nah, real shit. Yeah, uh, she thinks she she thinks she the shit. She got a poet painted. <laughs> I, I'm just sucking that shit in, becoming a hater too. Mm. Just talking about, oh, them niggas acting funny because them niggas done got some rims on their car. Wait, I do mine. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's hate. We ain't know we got it from second hand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And she didn't know either. You get what I'm saying? But it's like, you you just be you just learn shit indirectly. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Fact. So it so it, it's still really putting it's, to me. And I could be wrong. Like we have a discussion. To me, you still put insecurity on yourself when you got to pull somebody else down. That's just me personally. Mm. No, I like that. That's a you know fact. what I'm saying? If you, if you, if you, if you, uh, if what a nigga say, okay, it's just like a nigga walking in motherfucker be like, damn, bank I don't like them pink shoes you got on. Mm. What I supposed to do? Put that nigga these bitch, these black and white. But you retarded. <laughs> <laughs> like real shit. What are you colorblind, King? Thanks. I ain't finna go back and forth with you. Something wrong with buddy. But even if they were pink, it's like, cool, okay. No, I'm saying, like, these shoes right here right. that I got on. Motherfucker try to argue. But motherfucker will argue you that these are pink. And you, everybody here know that these are black and white, right? A motherfucker will walk into you. Like, how do you argue with a person that you know you know you telling the truth? Mm. That's what I used to do. Mm -hmm. Like, trying to get my point off so bad, knowing I know the truth. You can't do that, bro. That's a fact. Can't do that because the only thing you doing is fucking up. Hurt yourself. You though. just hurt yourself because they ain't gonna never get it because they don't need. They don't give a fuck what color shoes they're brown like you. Yo, you just hit a fucking nerve because even that. Mm, because what happened is now, what you you when we talk about hurting yourself, not even internally, externally, because now you're so passionate about it, right? And it might be the Gemini in me. But Why like, that what you is? Yeah, like oh man, they my man. Yeah, yeah. Man. so man. like it be like. It be like you want to prove yourself so bad to be a good person that you fuck yourself over because now you so passionate now you look like the angry nigga <coughs> nobody in the room want to deal with you yes because they look at you as being aggressive yes, yes. and it's like bro I'm just protecting myself yes but they don't look like that like you gotta have people around you that know you like that really truly know you like if this nigga just go off the handle he just passionate about what he's saying that nigga that nigga love me to death still. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because we can have a we can have a conversation, and the way I speak, some people take that shit in, bro. I thought you man, I ain't mad, nigga. I'm regular. Yeah, we having a conversation. Yeah, we get through talking about that shit. I'm passionate you the blood. Facts. Yeah. Like, Facts. What the, fuck, what the fuck wrong with you, buddy? Sensitive. Mm. So you gotta go ahead and eliminate them people. 
Cause, cause people be around you with resentments and grudges, and you don't even know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They be right there in your face, mm. trying to act like it's cool, but don't even fuck with you for real. Mm. So that's what I've been praying for, man. Every day, remove, 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 remove. I'm looking for any little sign. What she just say? What he say? Who? What? Oh, I'm trying to cut some more niggas' ass off. <laughs> real shit, bro. Fuck all that. Because at the end of the day, bro, it too many knives. I'm in the nigga back. Mm. And they ain't going to never see. People ain't going to never see where they went wrong until it's too late. You know what, bro? You were right. Nah, bro. I already feel how I feel now. Yo, oh, my God. Ain't no coming back from that. And then some people, we try to, like, we depend on this this apology. When it's like, bro, the best apology is change behavior, right? Yes. So it's like, yo, you can't just you can't just automatically do something to a nigga and assume that they're going to be okay with your apology. A lot of niggas play on the love. That's called playing on the love. Yeah, like you. I know you love me, so I can do anything to nah, you. Nah, like you gotta be be intentional. We talk about like a nigga's like, bro, I ain't mean that. It wasn't my attention. Nah, fuck that. We gotta change that. It wasn't my attention to being intentional. And what I mean by that is like be so intentional that you ain't gonna do something, some fuck shit that's that gonna make me. You get Real what I'm saying? Shit. That Real you ain't shit. gonna do some fuck shit that's gonna make me second guess our our friendship or, or your loyalty. You get what I'm saying? And that's the same with that's the same with your women and a lot because. We, yes. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of this shit I'm saying that I had to learn for myself. Real shit. Because we, we 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 depend on this 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 man. It wasn't my attention. You know my attention. I ain't like that. But yes, shit, she the paved way to hell was the 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 way to hell was paved in good intention. You feel yeah. me? So it's like fuck all that. I, I had to learn that. Even with my woman, I got to learn that. You know what? Even though if I say that, babe, you don't look right in this this outfit or whatever, and it wasn't my intention to hurt your feelings, I gotta then. Move forward to be intentional to make to say something that's in a positive way, yeah, right? Okay, hey, babe, I think you'll look better in this. That's me being yeah. intentional with yeah. my words. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of niggas, man, niggas just ain't intentional. That's real shit. Nah, man, facts, nah. big facts. <laughs> At the end of the day, man, you right because nigga, how you gonna tell me you sorry about some shit that you ain't changed? You just sorry how I feel. Mm. You sorry about how I feel because this you. Facts. Like that's why I can't wait to tell niggas like, bro, they jam me. I don't know what to tell you because I ain't finna try to fake you out. Mm. That ain't gonna work. Then I'm gonna be miserable. I done tried that too. Like I done tried everything there is to do. Fake a motherfucker out to be like shit. All right, all right. I'm finna got them. I'm finna got them drink liquor. I don't even like liquor. Mm. But my drunk ass buddy wanna drink liquor, so I'm gonna just take shots and be sick tomorrow. Nah, I'm not drinking no liquor, bro. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's just something as simple as that. Like I don't go to clubs. I don't go to clubs. I've been in the club goddamn thirty years. The fuck, I look like going to clubs. Folks need to pay me. Mm. Like, I ain't hanging out. I don't care about who feel like what. It's just what it is, bro. It's just, I, I think I think we get a certain age, though. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm an old nigga now. Grandpa three. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, real shit. Papa three. I just, I'm just sending it to my own. I'm finally, you know what I'm saying? All that time we was grinding and shit. You know, we was just trying to figure it out. But now it's like, like I said, I said it before. I done, I done had way more money than I have at this point in my life. But I ain't never had that much peace. Mm. And that's real shit, and I wouldn't trade this piece for that money. Do you think though? Cause I, like, I, it's like I always say this: is like sometimes we have hindsight bias, and what that is, is it's easy to look back on something and say, "Yeah, I coulda, shoulda, woulda" type shit, right? Or I woulda felt this way. And like when you said like you, you'd had way more money in the past than you have now, but you never had this much peace. If somebody told you that. Right when you was coming up, trying to get to the money. Fuck peace. Give me that money. Right, and back right, then. So another question, <laughs> another question. If you never had that money, do you still think you'll feel the same way? Because it's easy to say you wouldn't have. Looking back on if it, if I would have had, had no money, nah, yeah, yeah, I probably felt the same way because of circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Circumstances. I, my dad went to jail when I was 14 years old, so it, everything fell on me right then. Mm-hmm. So I had to do something. So I definitely wanted the money first, and I did. I sort this shit out when I get forty three, forty four. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I had to, I had to, I had to go on out there and do what I had to do. No, it's not. But that's it's funny because you laugh, but like that's so serious because there's so many people out here who say, "Man, love yourself, go to therapy, self care." But if a nigga ain't got no motherfucking money, it's 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 easy to do that when you got money. Ain't no such thing as a positive broke nigga. Like it's easy to do that when you when you, when you got money. It's easy to take care of yourself. Go get your insurance right. Make sure your your, your, your head is right. Yeah. But when you're trying to pay the bills, I ain't think about no fucking therapy. Fuck that. What's she gonna <laughs> tell me? Oh, she wants some money. The therapy wants some money. Facts. 
Nah, like I said, these podcasts is my therapy. Like I said, when I sat down, got in with Screen, you know what I'm saying? Jake finally came in when she came in. We sit out, we sit around and start talking. I start looking at things different. It became my therapy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even this right here, this mm. helping me. Like, I don't even feel as sick as I felt when I was in the car. Mm. <laughs> Appreciate you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being real. Like, all oh, this shit is therapy, just getting that shit out, bro. Mm. And I know I'm going off topic with shit I'm saying, but I'm just no, getting you're this not. shit out. We're actually on board, nigga. We good. <laughs> you know, we, we, we you know how we do. We be yeah. out there rambling, <laughs> thinking of nah. shit, rambling. Yeah, yeah what it is, bro. Yeah, nah. What you think the hardest part of the podcast shit is? Uh, hard part of the podcast is sitting down with niggas. I don't really. Yeah. <laughs> That's the hard part to me. Like, like man, hurry up and get this bitch ass nigga out of here. What we doing, What we doing, screen? What we doing, screen? <laughs> it's all you, Jay. <laughs> Ask another one. <laughs> But texting, but they I'm text, I did text earlier. <laughs> Wrap it up <laughs> like a condom. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy because like it's, it's only twenty three minutes, man. man shit, we we'll put somebody else on this. No, nah, facts. I <laughs> see y'all did that shit a couple of times. Y'all niggas, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they had a double episode, <laughs> and they had a thumbnail with both of them people. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Yo, y'all niggas crazy, bro. Nah, the hardest part about doing that shit is yeah, knowing a nigga lying too. Mm. Because it's like we on big facts. So bro, why the fuck did you come in here lying? You know what I'm saying? And then for two, it's like you can't um you can't um call a nigga out, then you bullying niggas. You know what I'm saying? First I was got them nah. I was in different <laughs> hills, nah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't know, bro. I might have to go start doing it. Yeah, but I say I don't know, cause I can, I be calling niggas out. Like, fucking lying. Yeah, you, bro. I know you is. You still a young nigga. You yeah. both, <laughs> bro. You both, but I can't because niggas take my words so literal, bro. Like I get spiritual readings every month, and they tell me like, bro, wait, what? I get spiritual readings. You did ass? Huh? Yes. Like I live my life through a. Okay. I'm structured, but. They tell me all the time, like, bro, watch your words, because people take your words for face value. Mm. Like, no way. I can just say, like, I can be like, man, fuck that nigga. And y'all motherfucker with me, love me so much, be like, nah, really, fuck that nigga. But I'm just talking shit. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, like, you can't say certain shit. So if I'm, if I'm, if I'm in a, uh, certain interviews, I respectfully decline, you know what I'm saying? Because if I'm in a room with you and I know you finna come in here and lie, cause you already lying on the internet about the shit that I'm finna ask you about. Don't even I don't even need to get in that, man. Cause that's that's just like, why would you even do the interview, mate? That's clout chase. Mm. If you finna bring a nigga on here to embarrass a nigga or do all that shit, nah, bro. Now if you're a nigga that really like that like we vet niggas like, bro, you ready to take accountability for that shit they talking about? Yeah, like Young Buck. When Young Buck came on, I, I seen him in the mall, he like, bro, I wanna be on Big Fat. I'm like, bro, we got to dress the elephants in the room. You're mm. like, shit, let's do it. Yo, that's a learning experience for me because I've been talking about, like, vetting people. But it's, like, on my come up, it's kind of, like, harder to vet people because I'm just trying to get the people that I can get. Nah, you probably to get them in here and do what you do. Yeah, you feel Yeah, me? nah, don't, don't vet shit. Get yeah. them in here and do what <laughs> you right, do. All right, all right, man. Nah, I ain't real tripping. shit. Nah, nah, but these niggas ain't going to take it. They ain't going to take it like that. They, gonna, they can get up and walk out. They're still big. But they can do whatever with you. But to me, it's going to be kind of different, like, you know what I'm saying? The people looking for some sucker shit for me. Like, yeah. hand change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It makes sense. No, it makes sense. Yeah, like, this nigga still on that bullshit. You know, I, st- I be getting on the bullshit here and there, but I ain't on that type of bullshit trying to humiliate no nigga. But I think that's the, but even like we talking earlier, I think that's the hardest part for me is like, because I'm just a real nigga at heart, right? Yeah. So like, I'm try- I'm I'm moving with integrity. But I be seeing a lot of times, like, the shit niggas be asking me to cut out, that be the shit that really gonna get me to look. And it's like, nah, I ain't gonna do that because that's so just You said if you wanna cut it out. Yeah, that's how, that's how I feel. <laughs> Boy, it's just like, if that's a nigga, fuck it, I just respect it. I ain't gonna lie, I done been on some of them podcasts saying some shit like, take that out, screen. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, mad at my bitch and say some shit, <laughs> diss her. Yeah, take that shit out. But yeah, man, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't mm-hmm. know. This shit, this shit weird, though. This shit weird. It's a weird run. Do you think Gemini is special though? I mean, I'm a Gemini, so you like, no, I think I'm special. No, I'm saying like special of all size. Um, 
No, I don't think so. I, I don't say I, th- I say that because I feel like every time somebody come at me with some bullshit like you got two sides, I be like I feel like we all got two sides. You ain't always one way. You feel me? Like you ain't always happy. You ain't always sad. But I be I don't know. I, I guess I probably got something else going on beside the Gemini then. Cause I can be one way in there ten seconds. One way and tap me like don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You finna go into that? Don't do it. Stay focused. Don't but do I feel it. like that's all of us though. If Jay, six you're not to, a gym. Six to seven times a day. Joe Cancer, watch, <laughs> yeah. watch this, though. You can be sitting about to record the podcast. You could have the best day of your life. And I might go too extreme, but that's just what I do. Yeah. <laughs> if you get a text about, I don't know, your house just got broken and I ain't going to go as bad. I was about yeah. to go far. But if your house just got broken, then you're going to be upset. I don't talk about for nothing. Well, it don't be for nothing. It be for something. Bruh. I'm telling you, on service, it might be for nothing. For nothing. Like, I didn't came in here about to do an interview. I felt good. I see a bad comment. That shit will fuck my whole mood Oh, no, nah, for sure that. For <laughs> sure that. I don't know, bro. I could just be sitting there, sitting down like, I need to go out of town or something, man. You might for be shit. bipolar or something. I think so. That's try. Because I'm Gemini, so I'm already born bipolar, so I'm probably tripolar. Three of them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, man. I feel like, what I will say, I think the special thing about Gemini is at work ethic. In my perspective i feel like every gym I'm, i met was like super like just od locked in what they was locked in and creative. Go super hard and creative too yeah super creative and crazy shout out to my dog kanye but fuck that man i like kanye i do too man, they well, hate I, no kanye no 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 we can't that. but we can't ex- excuse no, as much no 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 what i was gonna say we i fuck with him i love him but we can't excuse that he he be wild and bro i feel like he be misusing his platform how bro slavery is a choice bro come on even though I understand what he was trying I don't to say, wanna say what are you trying to say? He was I, trying to say that, bro. Basically, what, what was the saying? If 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 basically it was a saying that like if, if if we all knew we were slaves, then they would leave type shit. But what happened is some people don't know they slaves because they slaves to the environment. Not saying that's what you were saying, but like what if Harriet Tummy could have saved a lot more slaves if they just if, 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 <coughs> I forgot the if fucking they saying. Understood that. Basically, yeah, that's right? Funny. That's what I'm basically. So what I understand. I don't, I don't remember that, and I don't want to agree. You know, I agree with a lot of shit Kanye say, and I damn them finna agree with that. But I don't. Want but to. no, he, that's what I'm saying. He ain't say that. He just said slavery was a choice. That's crazy. But he he left it to the mind of one because at the end of the day, you can die too, right? Yeah, you could die too, right? Yeah, that's just like right now. If a nigga come in the motherfucker be like, "Hey, suck my dick off and kill you," you got a choice. Where you going? It's time to die. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck I got to do with being slavery being a choice? Him saying uh, that. Him misusing this platform. No, I'm saying, when I'm saying oh, slave, it's a choice. Like, oh, I ain't so finna be no slave. So kill me. Them. All right, cool. I get what you're saying. Bro. I don't agree yeah, with that, nah, y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm about to say, because you ain't about to do this. Because this, bro. But what I'm saying, though, you can choose death. Though. Do you understand how hard niggas had it? I, I I can't understand, but I can just imagine how fucked up it was. Was it so, worse than death? Bro, just like it could have been. slaves that jumped off the boat in South Carolina. Bro, it, it was co- like 500 slaves. They would they realized, okay, this is not the life that I want to live. But they ain't, showing, they ain't showing the people that bucked. Yeah, Because sure. a lot of niggas bucked. Beyonce paid homage to them. That's why <coughs> the world knows about them, but I knew about them because I've done research, but... Yeah, it was like 500 slaves. They were like, fuck that. They took their kids, everybody, and jumped off the boat, committed suicide, and drowned in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Made their choice. Mm-hmm. Now, I feel you, but I'm just saying to go on public TV with he- your platform to say that shit, bro, it's wild. And that's my dog. That's wild. Yeah, but Kanye just feel like, bro, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I, like, what? Like, this is how I feel. But you don't have to say everything you feel, bro. You know that. You right, but shit, when you up a billion, you don't give a fuck. What so what is, it, what is it worth? The money is worth like what? He fuck? don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, he know it. All y'all feel like that y'all just scared. Same shit with Trump. Nah, bro. Trump feel like all y'all politicians, and I'm not a Trump advocate. You know what I'm saying? I'm with, <laughs> I'm with the Democratic Party. <laughs> Are you? Because them niggas fucked up too. But I'm with them. <laughs> they done, they done recruited me. But what I'm saying is Trump just only saying and doing things that he know that these people want to do and say. Bro, but you can't, you contradicting yourself. Because you you go on, you, on your platform, right? You say, I'm not about to just say nothing for clout chasing. You I ain't, ain't doing on, that. I, but I'm, I'm, I ain't going to say that 
I'm going to do it. I'm saying I see what they're doing. Well, that shit corny. Just like we could, just how we could say niggas that's clout he's chasing. Gen- what you just talking about genuinely early. He's, he's genuinely, genuinely him. Fucking corny. And I still love him, but. But that's him. She's genuinely herself. We ain't saying nothing. <laughs> they ain't killing niggas. You can't say nothing about women nowadays. I'm a woman. I'm, I said it. Sexy Red is genuinely herself. Yeah. She doesn't give a fuck. She doesn't fucking wear the designer clothes. She still wears the fucking the tights from Walmart and you know what I'm saying? All the shit. And she's like living her life. Jay, get out of my motherfucking interview. Then you had your own interview. <laughs> she That's how she got shit. on Big Fat, doing the same shit, talking in the background. <laughs> Thanks. I fuck with Jay for that, bro. <laughs> Really? Nah, but that is right though. It's like when you be you, then it's corny. Mm-hmm. Damn, Gemini, man, my Gemini buddy, and I said some more Gemini is corny, man. Nah, bro, no, I love Kanye. <laughs> all I'm saying is, bro, I think he misused his platform. Nah, he did. Nah, he he, that's he, all I'm he, he did. He did. And you can make about, mistakes. You can fuck up. He did. He did like that Joy Floyd shit. That shit was corny. Um, what else? All them rants and shit. Like he do a lot of corny ass shit. But you got to think. I'm just trying to look into the mind of Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we don't know what that Donda did to him, bro. What Donda did? We don't know, bro. Yeah. We don't know. Some shit you can't come back from. Nah, you right, bro. You Some right. shit you can't come but back like from. But like you said, bro. bro, you can't make excuses for these niggas. All that time. ain't no excuse, though. Sometimes it be what it is. Yeah. You right about what you're saying. You can't make excuses, <laughs> but sometimes it be what excuse for this motherfucker. You and right. I love you. Bro, I love Kanye, bro. I love that. But he nigga. doing the perfect thing now. Just stay out of the way. And I've been told him on my old podcast, Kanye, just stay out of the way. Go lay down, bro. Facts. Best thing you did when you started moved to well, Wyoming. Wyoming. Yeah. That's the best thing you could have did, bro. You should have never got on the internet, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you know you start getting cluttered. Like shots out to Kanye though. Nah, man. I'm glad you chilling, bro. You you out the E4 way. But you can't take that back because the internet got a full memory. Yeah, I fuck with you. But now nah, niggas gave Ye a lot of grace. We forget that nigga a hundred thousand times. But he always bounced back harder. Worse every time. It's like yeah, oh. outside tonight walking around Italy barefoot. It's like, bro, bet they ain't cancel me yet. Fuck it. I'm gonna just do something ten times worse. They but he retired. always <coughs> Or it's gonna like come back harder like what? Like a a, a business mentor or some shit. Album, yeah. shoes, clothes. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. He yeah. always come back harder some type of way. Like he chosen. Yeah. Nah, fuck. That's that Gemini shit. Any nigga, any nigga. I guarantee you, they know he's a genius, but he he'll flip out, right? Mm. Kanye act like he got in mind right in about a fuck with Kanye. Mm. You don't think so? No, nah, facts. I think so. No, nah, I think he would. I think niggas would. They ain't had no choice. But what kind of nigga walk away from that money like that though? What nigga, kind of nigga do that? That's that a special kind it. of nigga. Huh? Yeah, that don't need it. I don't know though. I don't know. A nigga just, that don't need it. I just look at it like. Perception is what we die, we gonna die from, bro. Mm. Niggas gonna die of perception, giving a fuck what other people think. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, them niggas don't give a fuck what no niggas think. Mm. You shouldn't. Yeah, let me ask you this, bro. Do you think being so, being in the game so long, do you feel like sometimes the experience you have in the industry can be your downfall? What you mean, like what? Like, for example, like let's say. Signing a record label, right? Like signing to a record label. A artist who've been independent for ten years, who probably signed before and understand the bullshit that come with it, and they not they might not take a record label like a new artist would, but a new artist would take a record label and they gonna get the push. They gonna get all. They might not get the biggest bag. Oh no, no, no. They we no. Nah, nah, I give you some hell. Yeah, they get tired of seeing you know. I got down there. We tired of seeing. No, nah, that what you saying? No, nah, I'm like saying like being in the game so long and nigga still seeing you trying. No, nah, but but not even that. But like just little things you probably wouldn't do because you know better. When like sometimes ignorance is bliss. Like now you know better. Like certain shit you're not gonna do. Like yeah. you're not. You might. You might vet an interview, right? You might. You might have somebody come up that's about to say some bullshit and you ain't gonna play it. But whole time if you did play it, you probably would get a viral clip. Oh yeah. Would, you probably oh, yeah, for get way sure, money, for sure, for way sure. more money type shit like that's that. That's why I told you, nah, I don't vet nobody. Mm-hmm. Nah, real shit. I'm just doing that because. You know what I'm saying? Me on my journey, what I'm on. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But hell no, nah, you got you in the podcast space. Like my son be telling me, like, bro, just quit, bro. Your heart ain't in that shit. Just quit. You mm-hmm. through. You through with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hell no, nah, I can't quit. Just quit, bro. You through with it, bro. You ain't look how you looking on this shit. You don't even give a fuck about what they talking about no more. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't asking nigga about street shit. I feel like I want to ask nigga when they come on, how did you get right here? Fuck what you went through. Fuck what, who y'all you, what you into it with. How did you get here so these young niggas can know how you get here and get your mind right? That's mm. what I really want to talk about on the podcast. Mm. I don't want to talk about all that other shit no more. So fact. when we talking about it, it's like you can kind of tell, like, I heard it all before. And what does it do, though? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, let's, let's, let's help these young niggas do something else. Like, how do we do that? How you get here? Which, which, what was your business model? Like that type shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But people don't want to hear that shit, really. No, nah, facts. And even like one of the things that's that's hard for me, like, because a lot of times people come on here and they don't want to talk about the, the shit that's everywhere. And I feel like people can learn from the mistakes. Yeah. Like, yeah, you might think I'm trying to get you get messy and clickbait shit, and I'm not. I'm really trying to talk you through the fuck up so niggas can learn from it. Because if you go through some shit on the internet and when we talk about the shit you've been through, how you felt about that, why you did that, why you wish you didn't do that, or why you was glad you did that, niggas can learn, oh shit, I don't want to I don't wanna go through that same situation. Only, only, reason why, only reason why I can respect a nigga don't want to talk about certain shit that, that goes on on the internet is because it triggered emotions. Mm. So now I'm thinking about some shit and then... In the moment, ain't no telling what I might say because I ain't know you finna ask this. Mm. So you ask me some shit, and I be like, I say some more shit to crank it back up. Some people ain't ain't built and equipped to talk about trauma and shit that they done been through, and you don't know how people take shit. You know what Man, I'm saying? That's some real shit. Like we uh we interview um Glock, mm. Key Glock, and I asked him about Dolph. I could tell like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I was like, you know what I'm mm. saying. I'm like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You gotta respect it. Cause like, yeah, but I'm saying, but it's like, it's public shit, but it's like, this shit still fucking with dude mm. all the way. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I used to keep on like pressuring niggas to do that pressure. I get what you're saying though, but I'm saying I can see it nah, from both sides. That's a great perspective. I can see it from both sides because certain shit I don't want to talk about. Certain shit, I don't, man, that shit over with, it's gone. Because you know how we do. We put shit, we, we, we try to. Erase shit out of my mind. Mm. It's Gemini. Like, bro, I, ain't, I can't think about it. Even when I think about it, I talk to myself like, bro, stop thinking about that dumb ass shit. Facts, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to to bring it up, it depends on what mood we in, I'm going to answer it how I feel. Mm. If I want to answer it. If I want to answer it, you know right. what I'm saying? Or, and then that's going to change the whole vibe of the whole interview right then. Mm. That's a fact. Let me ask you this. How do you feel about, what's your opinion on like journalism versus like the podcast itself? What's journalism? I don't know. What, what, like, what, what would we say journalism? Like the 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 act of researching. Yeah, I, don't, and, uh, I ain't never researched no nigga. I really, I really, I'm just be 100, man. I really, I don't know, man. I don't want to be asking no nigga no questions. Let's just have a conversation. I'm sick of asking questions, man. Like, that ain't even me. Mm. What you ate today, bro? What kind of shoes you like? Man, fuck all that, man. Let's just chop it up about relatable topics. Nah, man. I ask that because it's is 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 a a big thing that's going around with uh Drake. Niggas is mad that Drake is not like doing interviews with like real journalists and and culture shit. And instead, he did like the Bobby interview, the white yeah. girl, right? And niggas is like, you should be doing interview with like the nigga. Uh, what's the nigga from Rap Radar? Elliot. Elliot Wilson. He should be doing big facts. Yeah, or shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you think that matters? Not really. He already too far gone. Mm. Really, bro. I'm just having fun. I ain't trying to talk to y'all, nigga. And that that's crazy. I said the same thing. <laughs> I feel like for him, it's like, bro, if I go talk to a journalist, they're going to ask me questions about what's going on. Yeah. That's going to spark other conversations on the internet yeah. that I might don't want to revisit. Exactly. When I could go to Safe Route with Bobby, we just going to have fun. Yeah. You finna, you, finna got now, you finna go look up everything. You finna ask me everything. You finna have me in the hot seat. Yeah. Niggas ain't trying to go through that shit. And I just feel like <coughs> the podcast game, everybody trying to model their shit about like Breath of Club, basically. You know what I'm saying? They trying to Damn. start asking, asking questions shit instead of just having fun with it. That's when you you lose the shit when you stop having fun with that shit. No, nah, facts. I think, I ain't gonna lie to you, like the, the guest shit is getting like played for me because I feel like I'm putting myself in a box. <coughs> I feel the same way. Because like everybody, the bigger guests you get, they're they gonna keep asking, oh, who the next guest? Bro, I've been told them you live by the guest, you die by the guest. The best thing we ever had with Big Fat Friday, and folk love that shit. Because that shit a real therapy. Live by the guest, die by the guest. Mm. You know That's what I'm fact. saying? Man, I appreciate you for pulling up, man. What you, what you got going on, man? You tell the people. Hiking with Bank, August 27th, Stone Mountain, 9 o'clock. Y'all pull up. Shush show. 
October the third, pull up. The hiking with bangers for everybody. Yeah. I might fuck with you, man. Man, you got to, bro. You gonna fuck with that shit? That shit, two, three hundred people out there just hiking, walking, kicking shit. Like, like I try to tell people, man, we try to put people together. Oh, linking us. I got an event called Linking Us. That uh, we finna do some politician shit. That's why I just told y'all I'm a Democrat. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I probably have said that, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, the hiking shit, man. It's like everybody buying and everybody selling some. Mm. So you gotta put people in the same room, see what he buying, what he selling. So you can buy some and sell some. Like networking. Yeah, like that's what it is. Jay, then I tell you, I don't believe in that networking shit. Yeah, you me Fucking that. hate y'all niggas, man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> bro, because it's like, bro, if you ain't really a somebody, but like, I, I fuck with what you, for what you said, but I'm going to say my original thought. Like coming to Atlanta, bro, it's like if nigga don't deem you as somebody, they try to play you to the left. Yeah. And I ain't, like you said before, like keep asking niggas <coughs> and shit. Like I used to, I came up asking, 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 and niggas kept trying to play me to the left. I get to Atlanta like, yo, we should do the interview. All right, I got you, bro. They give you the real number and everything. You hit them fucking 10 times. Bro, I ain't this network. But get shit. what, though? Nah, get what, though, bro? I'm telling you, sometimes niggas don't be ready, bro. Mm. And also, I am. Sometimes niggas don't be ready to do it. Like, nah, I'm going right. to do it, bro, but I just ain't ready to do it. Real nigga shit. Sometimes niggas don't be ready. I was just ready. I want them niggas to be like, nah, 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 nah. But I was ready. Mm. Jay called me about three weeks ago about this. I was like, not yet. Give me a week or two. Mm. She called me yesterday. I told her I'm sick, but shit, if I can, I'm going to make it. Fuck it. Mm. I'm ready. Ain't no, nothing going to stop me when I'm ready. When I ain't ready, I ain't ready. Now, I hate when a nigga say, yeah, and they just be like, just lying through the skin of their teeth. Like, fucking, I don't fuck with these niggas. But nah, what I will neither, say though. is. Me neither. I'm just trying to get these niggas an excuse. But, bro, I, now, I don't fuck with these niggas. But what I will say is, shout out to Jay, because he did say one thing that made so much sense. She was like, bro, sometimes you got to plant the seed. Yes. So even if you meet a nigga and he play you to the left. He know you. He saw you one time. So when the next time you see him, it's going to be a little easier. And he still might play you to the, ne the left the next time. But then if he see you again, he start to see you so much, them seeds going to be planted. And then no, eventually, sure. like, yeah. You feel exactly. Me? So, like, once, like, nah, that's, I feel like that's what networking is. Meet a person, tell him what you do. And then, shit. Oh, that my man. Niggas, nigga, to make you your hit man off real. Yeah. That my man as you go up, because niggas don't want to miss what's going up. Facts. Your mm. shit going up. Mm. Niggas don't want to miss that. Your shit dope, King. I nah, appreciate it, dog. These niggas don't want to miss that. They going to want to come on your shit just as well as you want them on now. Mm. It's just what it is. No, nah, facts. I used to be the same way, bro. I used to be telling them, man, I ain't, bro, I ain't. I don't <laughs> fuck about fuck these niggas. <laughs> fuck these <laughs> niggas up. But I'm like that still, bro. I don't, don't want to talk to no nigga who don't want to talk to me. Mm -hmm. like, right, we ain't never paid an artist to come on our show. We ain't never got them really reached out to no nigga. Man, you can't. Y'all can't say that. You can't come on my show and say that. Why? Because y'all the big dogs. Shit, nah, bro, I we weren't even podcasters though, bro. But still, y'all still them, y'all like y'all, y'all niggas is like that. But your shit dope. So at the end of the day, it's a proven concept. Nah, I appreciate it. It's a proven concept. So that, that's just what yeah, it is. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. That's just what it is. This shit dope. Like you can't hate on some dope shit. It just niggas ain't got around to it yet. Yeah. When they start seeing niggas like bank on them motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have some viral. <laughs> take that Kanye in there, and then what's name out? <laughs> take that. Take that Kanye in there. Uh, Donald Trump out for me. All right. <laughs> what part? You got to tell me what part it was. All oh, that shit. <laughs> Damn them niggas. <laughs> nah, you ain't going to give me nothing, bro. Slavery, <laughs> crazy with slavery that was not a choice. <laughs> <laughs> that I shit. Repeat. I repeat. Slavery was not a choice. But I got what he was trying to say. Yeah. I got what he was trying to say. And I can say, like, give a fuck. I just like Kanye, though, man. I, feel I like, like the underdog. I feel like, yo, the niggas that win, for real, when it comes to these opinions and shit get canceled, is the niggas that just don't give a fuck. When you try to play in the middle, that's when niggas lose. When yes. niggas make statements and they try to recant the statement. Yes. Now, we got niggas like Boosie who just stay where he at. I don't yeah. give a fuck what you say. You go. can't get canceled. Yeah. My girl, Jess Hilarious, she going to stay. She going to say what she say and keep it. She mm -hmm. ain't getting canceled. Your real shit. It's when niggas try to, like, tiptoe. Yeah, yeah tip like. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah like you out of here. Trying to tip. You're done, son. <coughs> no fat. No, nah, man. Bro. I appreciate it, man, for nah, uh, I pulling up, you, dog. Bro. Yo, um, that's all, that's all we got, man. You, that's all you you, you plugging? Uh, walking chilling. with Bank? Huh? Oh, yeah. Hiking with Bank. Hiking with Bank. Um, I said walking with show. Bank. The Hiking fuck? with Bank, August 27th, shit show, October the uh, 3rd. Then we're going to be at uh, A3C, September the 30th. I'm doing the Black Caucus event. <laughs> in uh, DC, <laughs> oh real shit. The black, what is it called? The black, you got it. 
Democratic caucus. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm, I'm curating the show for them out there in D.C. That's huge. Um, September 7th, we got the... Uh, you got the Amp show. Oh yeah, yeah. Amp, Amp. How did you? How did? How did that happen? Uh, Kenny comment. He said he's gonna put Jade on next season too. Kenny called me about that. Kenny Burns. Shouts out to Kenny Burns. Oh shit. Yeah, he called me and um, Amazon put me on um, uh, um, it's like a, a the sh- it's it's two shows really. We created app. You know, like how club. It's like club. Yeah, app, I know what app is too. I play yeah. music. Yeah, but we are also highlighted three artists from Atlanta. Uh, Pope Baby. Um, I fuck with Pope Baby. CEO Trill. Trail, I fuck Ken with Carson. So it, we did like a um with Cam Kirk, Cam Kirk filmed. You talking about them, Ken Carson? Mm. Yeah, Cam Kirk filmed uh, like a documentary. We all sat down, me, uh, Kenny Burns, DJ Cash, Sue Solo, uh-huh. and Paige, another Gemini. Mm. We uh, we all sat down and had a conversation about it, and they planned the uh, planned it through the out the episode, showing the day in the life of them of them kids. But this shit really dope. Damn, that's hard, bro. What else we got? We got something else too. I know I'm forgetting. But yeah, we. Yo, how does the how does being signed like how was that? Like, let's talk the business real quick for the what? podcast. They gonna love this part. Um, cause y'all signed to Revolt. Yeah, we got a partnership. Like, how was that? How was the business? Talk to me about. They just the front you the money that so, you would probably make. You said what? They just front you the money that you would probably make, and then when they recoup, y'all split everything. You know what I'm saying? Wait, so they put it on their YouTube. Yeah. They give you the the whole thing up front. Yeah. And then once they recoup the bread back, y'all split it what? 50 50 or 60? Yeah. But then at the end of the day, once it's over with, we still own the catalog. Just like music. Same shit like music shit. Mm. But you still got um the money. Ain't no money in that shit. The money is in I mean, endorsements. The ad- advertising. Yeah, right? the money is in advertising. That's with everything. That's with. Like, niggas thinking uh, Instagram and all these big sites is free. These folks got there and got your ass watching advertisements. You know what I'm saying? Google. That's where the money at. Mm. But it's like when you see other people like with these like 70 and 100 million dollar deals and shit like that, most of those deals don't allow you to retain ownership. Mm. But we own all of our stuff. Like, we have total ownership over everything that we have. How do you sure. own it, though, if it's on their YouTube? What do you mean? Once we allow shit, them to broadcast it. Yeah, it's like a uh, licensing deal. Okay. Like you license it to them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then once that shit, once it's over with, they put that shit going How back long y'all sign with them? Just, we just do like a year year at a time. Mm. Yeah. Damn, that's hard, bro. Nah, this shit dope, though. Shouts out to uh, the Tavio. Shouts out to the whole revolt team. Black Effect. Black Effect. So Shouts y'all, wait, do y'all do, y'all got, the, y'all got uh, one of them double deals, too, where you got the... The deal with Revolt for YouTube and then the deal with Black Effect for audio? Yeah. That's crazy. That's Where hard. you put your shit out at? Uh, Red Circle. What's that? Just the distribution. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I You know, I don't got the ties with y'all, man. Where you put you put your shit on YouTube? Yeah. 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 What, y'all, what y'all audio numbers doing? Audio numbers better than the other number. For real? Yeah. How the fuck y'all do that? Is it like a different marketing or just... Especially like when we had Big Facts Fridays. Those shits went through the roof. Is it just just naturally like that or y'all putting something behind it? Nah, that shit just what it is. Man, that audio shit is hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. That bro. audio shit, but that's where they um that's kinda where we started out at, like with audio and shit. Cause we be we be doing we was doing like a couple months ago, we were doing just regular audios without no um No video. No videos. But people like to ride and listen to our shit for some reason. I don't know, work and out to it. Do y'all y'all post more audios than videos or it's the same amount. Oh, shit. Oh, Do y'all post it before the video? <coughs> yeah, the audio come out first. Well, how many days before? The day before. Two. Now it come out the day before. Yeah, we do put the, the audio out on Tuesday. It comes on TV Wednesday, and then the YouTube, when you can watch it whenever you want to, comes out on Thursday. Yeah. Oh, all right. Hey, I'm shaking up all the game. I'm trying to... I'm trying to get these audio... Them audio numbers is hard, to, bro. It's That's hard to grow the audio. I think that live streaming where the money at, though. On YouTube? Just live streaming, whatever. Oh, whatever. like like Twitch and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get into that shit, bro. How you do it? I will. I, I feel out how to do that shit. I damn sure will. I'm not getting that money on that nah, shit. Nah, I mean it's easy. You just Sit I got down. niggas that could show you how to do that shit. I could do it for you. Turn me on. I could do that. I could give. I put ain't you doing up. shit. And sitting there, let you like going live. You going live for free, and you could be making some money. Yeah, but what we gonna talk about? What you gonna, you gonna talk about yourself? Oh, man, I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I, I talk to myself anyway. I can't do that. 
That shit. Yes, you can. Talk to myself. Most Twitchers are gamers, though. Yeah, they be playing a game and shit. Shit, I go in there and play some Tecmo Bowl. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> what the fuck? Some shit from the 80s. Oh, some shit from the 80s. <laughs> Uh, I nah, but, but they talking in the chat to you though, right? Yeah, but I guess, but you still gotta have an audience though. Like you, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If the audience, bro, how the hell is you gonna make some money? You ain't got no audience. That's what I'm saying. But you gotta have an audience first. Like it's hard as hell to retain an audience. Like, bro, I just started on the app with zero followers. You know what I'm saying? You still big bank though, but that shit don't mean shit because I ain't. Them I'm ain't even the same people. That. Them ain't even the same people, bro. But it still matters, bro. How the fuck you just got these 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 people that follow you now? Bro, I work my ass off. I right, then. Yeah, hey, you talking about? I mean, but you still had a. You can't ignore the head start that you have. Well, that you put yourself in a position to have by your name. Like bro, you, you going on that. the app, app, and me going on the app, app is two different things. No, it ain't. You get on. You're that, not about to come up and say, bro. That, you bro. get on that motherfucking and be on that more than anybody. Like we ain't gonna. That we just said we ain't making no excuses. You get on the motherfucker stay on that bit all day to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way in hell your shit ain't gonna be better than mine. <laughs> Consistency be anything, bro. No, in fact, I can't make no excuse. I'm going to leave that alone. You live on YouTube, live on your page, and on Amp. Fuck fact. that. I'm on everything right fact. now. Y'all come to the <laughs> Nah, fact. but I, I bullshit aside, I, I feel like anything can be done because I done seen niggas do the impossible, bro. Mm -hmm. Nobody nigga, No cap, I ain't going to lie to you. No matter where I'm at or where I'm not at, nigga, I didn't, we didn't done the impossible. Coming from where the fuck we came from. Yeah. If it... God forbid if it all stopped today, bro. Man, I'm blessed, bro. Real shit. This shit, bro. Man, come on, man. I would have never. Th come on, man. Now, why I told nigga, you on peace tree, nigga? Nah, for real. You walk to the fox, man. <laughs> you tell me. Listen, man. I ain't never. <laughs> man, I don't. I don't never wanted to, to get get this fucked up because, like, bro, where I came from, like, even where I come from to this day, niggas look at me like, bro, this nigga. He he, that nigga. I'm not nothing. But they look at it because, like, bro, this shit, man, niggas don't do that. But you got to think, think about the time you was wishing to be right here, though. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's been a couple years ago, you was wishing to be right here. No cap. And now you just wishing to be somewhere else, so that's when, like, man, how you doing? Nigga, you doing it. Nah, nah, you right. That's why I, it's, it's super blessed, man. Super blessed. We them niggas that, that made something out of nothing. Real shit. Facts. You had no choice. Facts. I appreciate it, bro. My dog, man. Love, bro. Love. Big Bank. J Hill. J Hill Podcast is right. We out.